Are you ready, folks? <laughs> so who's going to sink first? <laughs> <laughs> you did sign that disclaimer, didn't you? <laughs> I've got the life insurance well sorted. So this is the 52nd World Championship Tin Bath Races. Um, Steve and Ryan have done zero preparation for this. Um, Let's see whether or not they even get in the boat without sinking because people are already sinking before they even get to the start line. Oh, there's, there's Brian. He's looking a little bit wobbly. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, Steve's in. He's in the bar. Now, how far will he get? before he sinks. Will he make it to the start line? Well, that has Steve sunk now for the second time. He hasn't even managed to get to the start line yet. But Brian has. Good man. Why you Come on, Brian. Let's get to Is that correct, Brian? Is he going to make it to the start line? So the race has already started and Steve has sunk again. I think I would give up on it as a, a bad game. So Ryan is going! Go Ryan! Go Ryan! Go Ryan! Go Ryan. No, that's, that's not happening at all. He actually took the barrel stings off the back of the top of his van so and tried to put it underneath there to see if that would work or not. There no. is Ryan in the multicoloured wig and the, the multicoloured bar. Go on, Ryan! Okay, and Steve is still trying to get into his boat. Um, so bless him, he's still trying. Number 12 and 14 still going. It's the passenger that's ahead of the driver, but we have a man down. Oh, dear me. Leave your bath alone. Leave your bath. The team will come and get it. Don't worry about it. Leave it there. It's okay. Go on, Ryan. Dave Kelly still going as well. Get some good pictures of Dave Kelly, hopefully. So there you are. Steve is trying again. And he's stuck. <laughs> now, if there is a prize for the person who has sunk the most times, it is my husband. Oh no, Ryan is down to. Ryan's down to. There you are. 
dropped a little bit. Looking at Castle Russell, just looking at the flag there, that's kind of got limpish now. 30 is round the end, 30 is making the way back here. In the system there. there. No, they are going to have another go at getting Steve out again. Oh. No. Right. Officially, my husband is too fat. All he keeps doing is sinking. But he does look incredibly sexy. And if there is a prize for winning the, the sexy, most stunking, most crowning um, bath, then he's won it. Oh, such a shame. There's Ryan. There's a few bars down. Is anyone actually going to make Thomas it? Parry. Craig Lambert and Andy Haynes still going. 125 is actually bailing. <laughs> Someone else who can't make it. So the course does slightly change for the final later on. Remember 30. He's in second place for a while, but Paul ahead of number six. So 30 from six at the moment. Christy De Haven, are you okay? I am having a whale of a time. This is fantastic. <laughs> I'm going to get you up for a rope attempt later. <laughs> She's on it, right? You heard that, guys? And number 30 is coming over to Thomas Barry to take the heat win uh, and go through to the final a little bit later on. As I said, the final course is longer than this course, so they have a good break. <laughs> Thomas says a little look just over his shoulder, just to see. Oh, that is such a shame, but unfortunately, good effort, good try, but unfortunately, my husband is officially too fat to sell a tin bar. Well, we, uh, well, we got you like that, yeah, we get you in a wheelchair and you're going, I want that one. <laughs> 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 Well done. Well done, both of you. Well, if nothing else, you raised over five hundred pounds. So, Steve, Mr. Sexy Mermaid Man, how did you do? Um, really embarrassing, but I sunk three times. No, five times was it? I think probably five times. Yeah. <laughs> And that's before getting to the start. So, um, Apparently it was a mechanical. Yeah. I've heard some crap excuses in my days. It's because this, um, that's the anchor. But this floating thing was up like that and it's supposed to be down and it just kept on getting in water on there. It has something to do with my fat ass. Being what fat ass? Show us your fat ass. All right, so now it's the turn of the ladies. So do you want to get yourself dry and we'll go and see who goes the furthest out of Joy and Dawn. But well done, Ryan. Yes, yes. 20 foot. 20 foot. Worst thing I've ever done, scarier than road racing. <laughs> So now it's Joy and Dawn's turn. Let's see which one of them goes the furthest. Come on, Lois! Hurry up, Lolo! And this, this is the snake race. So that will be definitely lead at the moment. 
and then we've decided next year that that's the better option. At least we stay afloat. Wait for a gap. So there you are, there is Dawn and Joy getting in the bus. So Dawn is a flight. And so is Joy. Will they make it to the start line? Joy's doing pretty well. She is getting to the start line. Can I get everybody live on Mates Radio, please, to give us a big old cheer? Lucy Kinray, again, social network, just had another rope attempt. How are we looking, Adam? Just waiting for 105, just to come through there. Hannah Clayton on the land. Oh, yeah, one, two, one. Dawn Glover. Dawn Glover, Dawn Glover. oh, no. But it's 125 with an early lead, Suzanne Slater. Come on, look at Joy go. Sarah Kringle, a Lambs Navy run team. And a uh, winner twice, Abigail Morgan, 106. On the social network team in third. Come on, Joy! Again for the social network team. Well, Yellow House have definitely been the team that have won. 102, 106, 102, 104. Once we're in Lisa Taylor for the Lambs Navy run team. 119, also Natasha McKenzie. Great team there. We are sinking. 125 with a pretty healthy lead there. Suzanne Slater. Yeah, so 125 is leading, then 102, then 106, 122, and 104. There you're top, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 at the moment. Also got 119 there, Natasha McKenzie, as you said. Come on, Joy, you can do it. Anybody still going? 115, I think it's just to it. Is that 115, is it? And Nicky Martino, the Queen Scallops team, going well. That's a pretty healthy lead there at the top, actually. Oh, somebody gone down. Just the there. Oh, come on, Joy. I think, I think Joy is about to sink. I think she's just turning back and hoping for the best. In the second place. Oh, well, there we go. Neck and neck, no. 125 has now made that go. turn at the far side. On, 106 has also made the turn as well. Go. One as quick as in the kayak. On, and 102, I think that is. Yeah, 102 has just made the turn just about to now. 122, yeah, Lucy Kinray from the social networks and the leaders have made the turn and they're making their way in. 107 is in there, two member academy, the social network team. Will Joy make it? It's pretty tight, isn't it? The front. Well, I've got to say, hats off to you, Joy. Is, uh, a little bit tired in Adam's words, but I think in this one here, 109, I think it is, Joy Ellis, yellow habits. Well done, Joy. Had enough. She's knackered. Uh, she's had enough. It's close to the front there now. Really close. Oh, don't sink this One, close. Two, Come on, Joy. One oh seven just got round to the end there as well. Lambert Academy, the social network team. But as you can see, neck and neck up on the front. One two five and one oh six. Suzanne Slater, Abigail Morgan. Looks like Abby! we could have a new race leader. I think we're pretty much neck and neck, aren't they? Third place and fourth place, not too far behind either. But it's
Fights. Let's just be for the line now. Who's got the technique to get them on? Come on, Fights. Let's hear it. 106 and 125. Come on. Keep going. 106 in the lead with about a back flank at the moment. Can Abigail Morgan make it a three time winner? Well done, Joy. I clapped when I'm videoing, but well done. 122 is in there, third place. Come on, Lucy.